everyone, today's video is going to be my full review and swatch video of the Lime Crime Velveteens. They're basically liquid matte lipsticks from the brand Lime Crime and they're absolutely amazing and I would definitely recommend them to you guys if you like matte lip colours. All of mine that I have here I got from makeup.co.nz and I would definitely recommend checking them out. They have a bunch of other brands as well but that's where I get all of my Lime Crime from and yeah I have the entire collection here. So we're just going to work through them, I'm going to give you a brief review like an overall review and then I'm going to give you a review on each individual colour as I apply it. So the packaging itself, we'll just talk about that really quickly. Um, it's really beautiful, it's like glossy, beautiful, red with little pink roses all over it. Um, this is actually red velvet, I haven't even taken it out of its box yet. Um, and then, oh it's pretty. The actual packaging is really nice as well, it's frosted plastic with the same design as the box on the lid. When you open them up they've got a little tiny applicator, I don't know if you guys can really see but in comparison to a normal doe foot I'd say it's at least at least a third of the size if not half the size so it is a really nice small one that's perfect for getting a pretty accurate application. This application right here um, has no concealer around the outside or um, lip liner, it's just the velveteen so you can see that you can get really nice crisp lines with little to no effort. So the main thing that's awesome about these is they apply really really liquidy, they smell like Baileys which is like a butterscotch I think liqueur, caramel liqueur, I have no idea. Anyway it smells delicious, um, they go on really liquidy and then they dry matte so this is totally matte. I find these to be not super drying but they aren't the most comfortable lipstick to wear. I have some mattes that are more comfortable but they aren't long wear. This is a long wear matte lipstick or lip cream. I actually don't know how long they're supposed to last but I find that these last on me. Honestly if I didn't eat I'm pretty sure it would last until I went to take it off at the end of the day. If I eat I get a little bit of wear and tear kind of on the inner rims of my lips but they're pretty much kiss proof. You can see there's no Rub off, the only time that you would get rub off is from the inner rim. Um, in this video, if I was to do it by the end, it probably would have some rub off because your saliva kind of can break down the inner rim. So if you ever get breakdown, that's where it will be. So I'm going to start the swatches now, but I'm not going to bother swatching this one because I'm already wearing it. It is called Suede Berry and this was one of the first few Velveteens and it's by far my favourite Velveteen. I really thought pink velvet was going to be my favourite, but... Suede Berry, as soon as I got it I had to put it on and I've been obsessed with it ever since. It's a really pretty kind of orange coral red, I guess you'd say. It's just so, so, so stunning. It doesn't make my teeth look yellower than they are. My teeth are not looking on point at the moment, but don't worry about that. Um, but it doesn't make my teeth look yellow. It just is beautiful. And this is one I find to be really comfortable to wear, more so than the other ones. I don't know why that is, but... Suede Berry is my fave. The next colour I'm going to be showing you is Pink Velvet, which is actually my sick. Actually, I can't pick favourites. I can't pick favourites, but Pink Velvet is just a beautiful hot pink colour. This is in the same kind of colour family as Pleasure Bomb by MAC, which was a lipstick that I really, really wanted from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. Anyway, this is just a beautiful matte bright pink, so I need to get a mirror so that I can apply it, but let's get cracking. You can just see how spreadable these are, and they're really nice and thin, so it's super, super easy to apply them. Not when you're talking, though. Not the tidiest swatch that I've ever done, but that is what pink velvet looks like on me. I feel like it almost looks like a deep bright pink. It's not super duper like bright bright on my skin tone, probably just because I'm really fair, but I can see this colour looking phenomenal on all skin tones. And again, really nice and comfortable, kiss proof. You can see it's not completely dry in the center, so there's a little bit of transfer, but once it's 100% dry, it's totally transfer free. So that was pink velvet. My mouth is already getting super messy and sore, so do excuse if by the end of it my entire, like, muzzle area is funny colors, or if my swatching gets worse. Swatching 7, like, like pretty much super glue, long wear lip products, is painful, so... Please bear with me. So now we're going to go for Utopia. This is the newest of the bunch. This is kind of like that 
Radiant Orchid Color of the Year sort of shade. It's a really pretty purpley pink. I like this one a lot more than I thought I would. I thought it wouldn't look good on me, but I'm obsessed with it. I told you the application was going to get dodgy. So this is Utopia, which is, as I said, pretty much that Radiant Orchid, totally in fashion purple color. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I really love this shade. I do find, though, that out of all of the formulas, this is the one that I find the hardest to apply. I find that this one, um, when you kind of go back over an area, it'll either streak or kind of kind of build up a little bit like if you guys have tried the Australis for Law Lips you literally can only do one pass with those otherwise they start to go weird whereas all of the other Velveteens are amazing you can totally layer them if you start to see some wear I see no issues with that but the only one that I have problems with is Utopia but it's totally worth it because as you guys can see this colour is amazing so if you're willing to kind of deal with that which it might just be my incompetence and if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing close-ups it's because my lips are literally like desert dry. That's why I've been putting this video off for like two weeks or something. Um, I keep thinking that my lips are going to become non-dry but I think I need to start taking more supplements or something because they're just not, they're not getting not dry so that's why I'm keeping you guys far away. Next is Red Velvet which I believe is actually the first blue lips that ever came out. It's just a true red colour. I haven't even opened this one up yet so I'm very very excited to try this one out. Wow, this one is so, so, so pigmented. Not that the others aren't, but this one just seems so much more rich. So this is Red Velvet. I love this colour. This is like snow white red, traditional red, sexy red. It's just that red lipstick that everybody wants. I find that it is slightly blue based, so it's not making my teeth look yellow. See, this colour is absolutely amazing and I really really like it and yeah the application is terrible but you can see the colour so that's all that matters. The next three colours came out at the same time. These are like the most recent ones after Utopia if that makes sense. So there is Wicked, Salem and Black Velvet. This is like a witch themed collection. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was like three witches or something. But this came out I think at the start of this year. So out of these three the only one that I've actually worn like out of the house is Wicked so we're going to start off with this one. I love this shade. If you guys are into vampy lipsticks or if you want a good lipstick to wear at Halloween that you want to touch up these ones are amazing. So this is Wicked on my lips. You guys can see it is like super vampy. Excuse my <laughs> even Cupid's belt looks hilarious but it's a super duper vampy like deep red with like a brown undertone to it. Um, it's really really stunning. I love this one. I wore it a lot during winter time. I also did a video using it so I'll leave that linked off down below if you guys do want to check that one out because it is a beautiful shade especially for the colder months of the year. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the one that I'm the most afraid about which is called Salem and it's basically a chocolate brown colour. So as you guys can imagine Kind of scared. I don't think this will suit me, but we'll try it nonetheless. Ugh, scary. Ah! So this is Salem. Um, don't really like this colour on me, but it is a beautiful colour. It applies beautifully. It is very, very pigmented. Um, I find that this one makes my teeth look probably more white. Ah, oh, okay. On my teeth. But yeah, it is a really nice shade. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not like anti-strange lipstick colours. I just don't find this at all appealing on myself. But power to you. And as I said, it's a beautiful formula. So this is what Black Velvet looks like on me. It is a true black product. Um, it does make my teeth look strange. I feel like they almost look green. I don't know. It just makes my teeth look weird. So I feel like be aware, be aware of that if you're going to be buying a black lipstick. But it went on beautifully. Same as all the others. Um, and yeah, it's really, really amazing. If you guys wanted a black lipstick, um, I definitely recommend this one. And to be honest, looking at myself in the viewfinder, I actually really dig it with like the right makeup look. So yeah. Might be rocking this one for Halloween or something like that. That is everything for my Lime Crime swatch video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more swatch videos on other products in the future. Do also let me know if you guys would like to see any tutorials using any of the velour lips. I can't even grab them all because they're all over my room. But let me know. I definitely think I want to do one using Utopia. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps me out a lot. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you all next time. 
Bye.